But I, I wanted to give our college students just an acrostic, a word. What kind of practical tips do I believe this text embodies? As you were in school, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior, or this is your last year, what's the word? What's my final word to you on this college student Sunday? What can I share with you by way of message, by way of take home, take home value? What do you want to share with me that's spiritual and practical? And I want to give you an acrostic. I want to give you an acrostic. And, and, and this acrostic, I want you to write this down and put it in your phone and print it out and put it in your dorm room, your apartment, to remind yourself of what you should focus on this year. The first part of the acrostic I want to give you is G, the letter G, the letter G. What is it? What's the letter G for? That means when you're in school, I want you to get involved. Get involved and participate in the classroom activities. Don't just sit in the back and miss class because you're too sleepy and, uh, and hungover. No, you need to stay focused and make sure that you know you go to school to get involved so the students know you, that the, the teachers know you, that your face and your presence mean something. Get involved. And, yes, get involved in the activities. Here's, here's another one, R. Are readily participate and engage in class. Uh, there are some of you who are smart, others who are not so smart. Can I tell you some? Sometimes, sometimes you can be blessed by your professor just by your classroom participation. Uh, sometimes if you need a, a, a maybe if you write on the verge of a C or a B. Sometimes just because you were active in the class, uh, my God, you get over and you get some support and get over the hump with teachers who remember that you were readily involved and you participated in class. G, get involved. R, readily participate and engage. A, ask for help. My God, get help from a counselor, whether it be about your personal life or your career goals. Ask for help. If you're struggling in the classroom, ask God to give you a, a tutor. Go and get help. Don't wait to the end of the semester. My God, when it's too late to do anything, seek help the moment you know you're struggling because a closed mouth does not get fed. G, uh, yeah, get involved. R, readily participate and engage in class. A, ask for help from a counselor or from a, a tutor. Here's another one. D, dedicate yourself to organization. My God, half of excelling in college is not your ability to retain, but your ability to be organized. Those who know how to organize their, time, organize their lives and know when to spend time with this, when to spend time on that, the key to you getting out is in your organizational abilities. I, I gave you G, I gave you R, I gave you A, I gave you D. Now let me give you this. Now here's another one. You understand, set, and meet goals. Uh, every week, you got to understand, set, and meet some goals. Each week, remind yourself of what has to be done. The paper is due this week. I got to read this many pages. You got to understand, set, meet goals, which means you got to read the syllabi to know where you are at all times so you can know what to ask God to help. You got to understand, set, and meet goals. Here's another one. A. Here's another one. A. Actively and efficiently take notes. Uh, make sure you write everything down. Lord have mercy. Sometimes winning or losing is based on your ability to take notes. Uh, take notes. Ask everything. Record questions. Record statements. If something don't make sense, make sure you go back and get all the answers you need. Uh, take notes of everything. Get in your phone, in your pad, on the back of your hand. Make sure you take copious notes to remind yourself of where you are. Are y'all with me? Here? Here's another one. T. Here's very, very important. Time management. Uh, a lot of people would not be successful because they don't know how to appropriate their time. It's all right to go to the football game. It's all right to go to the step show and go to the party, but you got to know how much time do I allocate to my studies? How much time do I allocate to my social life? 
too often in college, the social life takes all of the time. And the thing that you're there the most for, you lost your everlasting mind because you're not putting time in those areas. And one more. Here it is, the last one, which is probably the most important, E, E effectively study. You got to effectively study. Know what to read. Find out the tendencies about the teacher. Ask others who've taken the class before. How does this professor do their test? What do they look for to efficiently study? I hope you got the whole acrostic just in case you didn't know it. Uh, I, I, let me spell out the acrostic for you. G R A D U A T E graduate because that's the goal. The goal is for you to go there and not be a 20-year student. The goal is for you to go there and not spend all your money's mama's money and have to pay back loans for classes that you didn't even excel in. I want you to go there and make good use of your time. Go there and be wise. Wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. I want you to go there and know that if I give my plans unto the Lord and work as if it all depends on me, but pray as if it all depends on God. Uh, I came to tell you, victory can be yours. Uh, success can be yours. Uh, even with concerns in your background, even with the covenantal blessing, if you're courageous and bold, uh, you can leave with the testimony that all things work together for good to them that love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. I speak life uh, into every college student, every person who's starting a business. I speak to everybody who's starting a family and trying to improve the next dimension of your life. These principles are not just for college students, but they're for everybody who's watching.